Hello everybody, how are you doing? Um, I am out in the shop. Uh, I talked about doing a live this weekend and I may still do that on Sunday. It just kind of depends on how things go. Um, I am, I didn't want to do this Pentel pin on a live because I'm having to do a lot of calculating and drawing and figuring and I'll show you, I'll show you what, I, what I mean. You will have to excuse my drawing because I'm no artist and I kind of I kind of draw like I think I'm all over the place. But this little sleeve that I made the other day, which fits nicely into the nib and gives a nice transition for the nib, and it also fits nicely into the seven millimeter tube, would not have worked. The internal diameter is perfect. Here's my mechanism. If I slide it on there, what you can see is all that sticks through is just the tiniest little amount. Okay. What happened is, let me plug it into the uh, back of the Pentel case, and you can see that all of the threads stick, stick through. This little nib here, this little thick piece, equates to this piece right here. You have to excuse my drawing. That's 2.5 millimeters in length. That piece right there is 5 30 seconds in diameter, which is the size hole I drilled in here and lets this pass through. And it only passes through so far because the section that looks like a nut, the hex looking section, it really isn't a nut, but you can see that hex looking section, that's what presses on the back of this or on the back of that hole, that five uh, 30 seconds hole, and that's what allows you to advance your lid. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to the metal lathe and I'm going to turn a new piece that is only going to, um, the hole on it is going to be, um, 2.50 millimeters in length and it's going to be 530 seconds in diameter so that that'll pass through and then I'll bring I'll put a lip on it like the lip on this one so that it can seat nicely against my nib and then I'm going to try to I don't know how to describe this but uh, give it kind of this type of, 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 a, of a look where it kind of it kind of expands a little bit so that it, I can use a standard eight millimeter tube because it's our seven millimeter tube because a seven millimeter tube is uh is um the pin that the the bushing or the the size of my let me back up this is one of my pins that i made my mechanical pencils and it is 0.835 is the diameter at the end of the blank so i got to go from 0.835 down to 6.70 which is the od of the nib and then the ID of the nib is 5.90, which uh, we're drilling, uh, I don't know how that equates to 15, 30 seconds, but it's a little bit wider than that. You can kind of see that there's your lip right there. That, that, that's the ID of the, of the inside of that. So this is kind of weird to explain, but I'm going to try to make a piece that transitions from a standard uh, seven millimeter bushing down to a nib in a nice transition, I'm going to try to keep it as small as possible, but you just you don't want to just you know square it off or anything. I, that's very complicated and very confusing even for me. But I'm just going to experiment, and if I get it working, that piece will help me to finish this pin or to make this pin. And if I can get that piece made to where it will work, then I think tom uh, tomorrow I may go ahead and try to do the live on the rest of it. You know, um, I'm thinking. A couple of other things I learned the other day is a seven millimeter tube is too small. So I think this is going to be a two piece blank that will thread together. So the first section will be a seven millimeter piece and I'm not sure how long it'll be, but it'll glue to that nib piece that we're making so that we can run the mechanism through and uh, thread the nib on. And the back piece will be an eight millimeter tube. So somewhere along the lines, I either have to drill from both ends and glue seven in one end and eight in the other, which I may try that. I don't know. We'll see how that works or I have to make it two separate sections that thread together. I haven't got that far yet. <laughs> so there's a lot, lot, lot of thought going into this and it just wouldn't have worked well for a live because trying to answer questions and trying to work out problems at the same time would have been really confusing for me. And like I said, I'm, I'm all over the board. Try this, try that. Then my mind is thinking about something else uh, as I try to put this together. So let me build this transition piece and perhaps we can, we can do a live on the rest of the pin or, and maybe somewhere down the line, I can do a video on the transition piece. I'm not going to try to video it because this is a 100% learning process. And I expect there to be screw ups and mistakes and multiple sections that I make because, you know, let's, let's, let's be honest. I'm no expert on the metal lathe. Um, but 
Enough talk. Let me get to work, and I will keep you posted and show you uh, what I come up with. I've got my piece of aluminum turned down to 8.35 millimeters in diameter, and that little sleeve right there is 6.70 millimeters. I've got a really nice fit with my nib. Um, what we're going to do now is I'm going to drill my 5.30 seconds hole down in through the center of this of this blank. Then we're going to have to flip it around, and right here where it starts to taper, we need to make a shoulder, and it needs to be the inner diameter of a seven millimeter tube. So we're gonna work on that and then we'll come back and drill into the back half of this so that we have that, uh, what did I say, that was like a 0.20 uh, millimeter uh, shoulder. So we're gonna have to drill that out as well. So let me first get the uh, 5 30 seconds hole down through the center of this blank. Well, I knew there would be small issues and I might have to do this multiple times to figure it out. You can see I'm working on the shoulder that will seat inside of a seven millimeter tube. Uh, the issue that I'm having is I need to be able to grip this uh, this uh, adapter so that I can drill with a larger size bit from the back side so that I get that 0 0.20 millimeter uh, lip right here that allows me to work the, uh, the pintail mechanism. The issue is how are you going to grip this? So what needs to happen is I need to uh, turn another rod down to the proper diameter drill the larger hole in to uh, a certain length, then come back with the 5, 60, uh, 30 seconds bit, drill the rest of the way through. I can turn the shoulder, flip it around, hold it by the shoulder, and then turn the, uh, the uh, front section of the pin. So it's just a matter of, uh, you know, I have to learn the proper way. I mean, when you do this type of work, I'm not trying to say I'm a machinist because I'm the farthest thing from that. Uh, what I'm getting at is there's a certain operational order that you need to do things in to get the end result. And I just need to get in the mindset of what operation happens first, second, third, and so on so that I can do these things better and more efficiently in the future. Um, so we're going to put another piece of aluminum on there. And oh yeah, the other day I went and bought six more sticks of half inch aluminum. These are 12 inches in length. They came in Friday. So I got plenty of aluminum to experiment with. And I think I even have another rod or two from the initial batch. But since I started playing with the lathe, I wanted to have some more on hand because it's just nice to cut a section off and experiment. I've got a new piece of aluminum on the lathe. I've turned it down to 8.35 millimeter diameter here, which is the diameter that I want. I believe that's just a little under um, a standard seven millimeter uh, pin, but but that's okay. I uh, will be able to adjust that out with my calipers, and I've turned this down to I believe point. I'm sorry, six point three zero millimeters, which is the ID of my tube. So I'm happy with that. What I've got to do now is we need to go ahead and drill our hole. Uh, I'm going to be using a five thirty seconds bit for the end hole. I need to go maybe I don't know a size or two up. I'll use my calipers and measure that. Uh, that hexagonal section on the end of the uh, mechanical pencil uh, mechanism. And that's how, uh, that's the diameter I'll drill in. And I've gotta be very careful with my measurements so that uh, I can finish that hole with the uh, 530 seconds bit and have the right amount at the end of this little piece. I've got the piece seated in a brass tube. It looks great, let me pull it out of there and we'll slide the mechanism onto it and you can see we probably are losing a few threads, but as I face that off, it ought to take it down to just about perfect. I'm happy with that. So now what we're gonna do is, I found the end of this, let me get it off there again. Notice the end of it, when I tried to grip it in the uh, collet chuck, it was damaging it a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this bushing that didn't work, and I'm gonna turn it down to fit inside of here, which I think was three, three eighths. And that way it can fit inside of there, and then I can grip it in the collet chuck, and I won't have to worry about crushing the aluminum because, you know, you can see the walls are, are relatively thin. So, uh, next step, turn this down and make myself uh, a filler, a spacer, for the inside of this. I just got done angling this down from 8.35 down to 6.70 millimeters to fit the nib. It looks really good. I'm going to lightly sand it with some 4 then some 600, and then I'm gonna buff it with a little four-aught steel wool, and it should be ready to uh, use. Let's take a look at what we've got. This is the piece that I made, the adapter, 
and this is just the the section that I made to go inside the adapter so that the collar chuck wouldn't crush it and it did the job it's not pretty but it worked now this is not the best uh, pin piece to use because it's got a little lip here where the brass tube wasn't sanded all the way down uh, so you're not gonna have the best fit but it'll give you an idea ignore the gap if the brass tube was gone it would fit much nicer and there is almost no transition there there's a I can feel just a just a hair but I think I can I think when I turn this down I'll be able to uh, handle that uh, as I'm sanding my blank against the bushing this is the nib it will seat right here that's gonna work out really well let me show you how this looks if I take the mechanism and I put it inside of here all of the threads show through Let's go ahead and tighten this down We've got a nice tight fit it's not loose and if we start to use the mechanism, let me just get the ink started here. There it comes. I can now move the ink, or I say ink, um, the lead out of the end of the pin. So bottom line, I think this little transition piece is going to work. I like how it looks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, tomorrow probably prep a blank uh, and turn a, a real blank, not one that's uh, off of an old pen that, good Lord, this thing's probably 10 years old. Um, and we should be able to turn a Pentel pen. Now, there are some things we have to take into account. The back half of this pen will not accept a seven millimeter tube. We've got to go eight millimeters. So I've got to start with a seven millimeter and graduate to eight. I've still got to figure that out, but uh, I'm getting closer and I don't know, two attempts, not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I wish I could get better pictures of it. I'm not having the best luck, but uh, it, it's a nice little transition piece and uh, it's gonna make for a cool pin. Like I said, I, I still, I think I'm going to hold off on the live tomorrow. I gotta figure out how to use a seven and an eight millimeter tube at the same time in this pin. I really don't wanna make a two piece pin that threads together. I'd rather have a single pin. So I think what I'm probably gonna do is drill into it, glue an eight millimeter tube in, and then from the other side, drill through for the seven millimeter and make sure the seven extends into the eight millimeter so they overlap at least maybe a quarter of an inch inside of there uh, because only about this much of whoops sorry of the of the mechanism won't fit in the seven millimeter tube so if i brought the seven millimeter up to say here and then the eight millimeter came down to about here um i think i could get a nice shape pin i hope that makes sense i just need them to overlap for strength and um i just got to figure out how to do that <laughs> uh, but i think i'll work on that tomorrow and I haven't recorded any of this, but now that I've done it once, um, I think I can go back and repeat it and make a nice video on this for you guys. It is a lot of work. It is way too much time to put into a live because, I mean, I've been out here for several hours working on that. And even though I know how to do it, the steps take so long. Um, we're going to have to probably do something else for the live video. So if you guys have suggestions for what you'd like to do in a live video, and bear in mind... I really would like to keep them between 30 and 45 minutes. If it stretches to an hour, I can accept that, but I really don't want to go to an hour and I definitely don't want to go past an hour. And the reason why is I'll leave it on my channel because other people will come back and watch it and glean information from it. And that's why I don't want it to be too long because most people only watch about seven, eight minutes of a video. <laughs> that's about the average time. So if you get an hour, nobody's going to watch it. If you got a half an hour, maybe I can get 15 minutes out of it and they can, you know, maybe they'll find enough interest in it to, to, uh, you know, getting questions answered and things like that, that they'll stick around. So give me some ideas. I'm going to do a live for you guys, but give me some ideas, what you'd like to see and try to think of things that we can do in about, let's say something we can do in 15, 20 minutes. And then we'll use another 10 minutes or so for conversation Q and A. And, uh, you know, we can do multiple of those if that's what you guys want, but give me some feedback on that. That's it for me tonight, man. I'm, I'm burning up. It's, it's hotter than heck out here. And uh, I'm going to go in, let my brain kind of relax from this uh, and think about what I want to do to, um, to make this pin for you. All right. We'll catch you later. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.